your Xcode project is going to look like this. In order to add things to the storyboard, you need to click on Main Storyboard, and then it's going to change to a view like this. And your main storyboard always starts, if you've selected a single view application, with a single view controller, and then this arrow indicating um, what the entry point into your app is. So this is the first view controller that you see after the launch screen. Um, if you want to add other things to your application to make it perhaps a little bit more interesting, you add them with um, this choice over here. So right now you can add a view controller or a storyboard reference or a navigation controller. So for example, let's add another view controller. We just drag this into the storyboard and it pops up. It's a little bit hard to see what's going on, so we can zoom in, say to 50%, and now we can see that we have two view controllers. They're not connected in any way, but if we wanted to be able to program a segue, which is a transition um, in the storyboard, from our first view controller to our second view controller, we can click on the view and press control and hold it down while we drag to the other view controller or um, you can click on the view here I mean sorry not on the view on the view controller and you drag control drag to the other view and when you do that it pops up with the options for how you want your segue to go um, if you pick show that's sort of saying I want to have this new view controller pop on top of the old view controller, so move it to the top of the stack. And so what's going to happen is once I pick show, I'm going to have a segue here. Now maybe I didn't want it to show, but I can always change that later. So here, once you, you can click on the segue, you can see it in your view controller scene from the first view controller, and you can then see details about it in the details over here. Um, it, so, in order to discuss your segue programmatically, it always needs an identifier. So you just name it something like my segue, or if you're going somewhere directly, you could say something like to detail segue. You give it a name, and that way you can refer to it um, in your program. And if you don't want to change the kind of segue you've created, you could change it. So now maybe I want to present it modally. I can change it there. I need to rename it because I didn't save that last time. And now it changed here because I hit enter and you can see that the name changed over here in the view controller scene. It actually is called my detail segue to view controller scene. Um, if, these, if this view controller had a different name it would show up here. And that is all.